Hey guys, down here. Um, I'm hiding my webcam, but I'm going to show it back up because today, today we are making a stopwatch and app inventor. So I'll be right back. And yeah, okay, I am back. And today we are doing the stopwatch, like I just said. And it's gonna go up to hours. It's gonna have minutes. It's gonna have seconds, and it's gonna have a tenth of a second. So, it's going to have a start, reset, and stop button. It's not that complicated for the design and load. So, let's, well, first you're going to want to drag out, a, no, just a text box or a, or a label. You're going to want to bring it up to the top. And then, you are going to make the label be zero zero colon well I don't know what the two dots are called for sure but zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero and then that's it. You can set the background color of the label or text box to whatever you want. You can set the text color to whatever you want. So yeah. Next you're gonna want to get uh again a text box or a label and and make the you're gonna want to make the text be hour semicolon minute semi no colon hour colon minute colon second colon and then tenth <laughs> sorry and also when you make these two you are going to want to make the width be fill fill parent and fill parent. You can make the height be whatever you want, just make sure that they'll be able to see them both. Next, if you want everything to be nice and neat like this and that, one here, one here, and one here, then go to layout, click and drag horizontal arrangement to it, then you then you will um then you will put width to fill parent, height, just leave it at automatic and that's it. Then you'll go back to user interface and drag your three buttons out. And then just uh, just put these to width 100 and leave like that automatic for all three of them. Put text to start for the start button, reset for the reset button, and stop for the stop button. You are also going to want to rename them, like I have, as you can see. Also, you are going to want to rename this to Legend, because it's saying what one is hour, what one is minute, what one is second, what one is tenth of a second. You're going to want to rename this to Current Time. You don't have to, but if you don't have that well of memory, you're going to kind of want to. Last thing for over here, we're gonna want to go to sensors, click and drag clock out, but when you let go you will see that underneath this part is a non-visible components text, and then it will say clock one. And that is all you have to do for the designer side, now let's head on over to blocks. As you can see it again looks kind of confusing <laughs> but it's not that hard i'll be right back after i've separated it all and we'll go over it okay now i have sorted it all out you are going to want to do this go into variables click and drag out initialize global name to the click the name and you'll be able to type in second or sec if you want and then you're going to do that four times for sec, for min, for hour, and then tenths. And then go into under math, click and drag out zero, and put it for all of those. And then that's all you have to do for that part. Next, you're going to want to go under start, drag out one start, click, go to, go to your clock. And then put 
slow. Use your stopwatch. Then go down to the bottom and click and drag out. Set clock one. Time enabled two. Then drag it under your stop. I mean your start button. Then duplicate it and put it under your stop. Next, you're going to want to go into logic. Click and drag out true and connect it to it. You're going to want then to duplicate it. Not delete. Duplicate it. Click the little arrow, put it to false, and then put it there. Next, well, actually, then that part does. Then, then it makes this be automatically zero. Because, well, it'll explain itself later, but. Next up, we are going down here. Don't, don't mind that yet. <laughs> then you're going to want to put when reset click, which is click this and drag out when reset click. Then you're going to want to get back into variables, click and drag out set blank to. You're going to want to pick out every single one of these. You're going to want to pick one of them, duplicate it, then pick one of the different ones and then do it for all four of them then put it under the reset part which you would do like this whoops <laughs> and then and then um put all these to zero from going to math and dragging out the numbers box next you're going to want to go back under clock it would load Oh, sorry. I'm going to want to go back to the bottom and set, actually no, you don't go over there. You go to, okay, I'm back, sorry, my dad came in. Um, so actually then you're going to want to go back to current time, scroll on down, and then set, set current time to tech. No, set current time text to, and then you are going to want to go under text and click and drag out join. Connect that to the current time. Click the little settings thing, make there be four strings. No, seven strings, I mean, sorry. Because next. Then you're going to want to go back under variables and then put get and then put global hour, global minute, global second, and global tenths. And yes, I put it like that for a reason because then you're going to want to go back under text and then make it be the colon and then duplicate it for all four and of course that would also be under here already next we are going to do the clock one timer so that then it actually does the right thing so for this you are going to click clock well clock one You are going to want to just pick the stop one right here, click and drag that out. Get top, put, drag out when clock one timer, do. You are going to want to go under variables, drag out set, ah, rip, rip. Okay, I am back. So, like I was saying before, you get out when clock one timer, do, well, when clock one, t yeah. One clock, one timer. Do you want to go back? You want to go under variables. Click and drag out the set blank two. Then you're going to want to click this little arrow and put set global tenths two. And then you are going to want to go under math. And drag out the plus. It's trying to get the math into this grass. 
So then you want to go back on the variables and get get blank to get blank and then you're going to want to click tenths. Next you're going to want to go back under math drag and click click and drag this one out and type in one and that's it. Next you're going to want to go into control click and drag out if blank then blank. You're going to want to get out well basically this no you are going to want to go under math and get if blank equals blank but then you're going to want to change it to the left one to be if the left side is over the right side then then after that you are going to want to duplicate this and then duplicate this but then set it to 9 and then that means here comes the very very tedious parts set global seconds to um, yeah one here we go again tedious parts then d click and drag out another if blank then blank duplicate this whole thing make it be seconds make that be 60 hit enter and, p and put it right there next duplicate this and put it to minute see where this is going yeah I'm not gonna skip it because then I'm pretty sure a lot of people would get upset and still say I don't know what the heck to do then put this back to minute and then put this to hour then you're going to want to come back over here duplicate that and then put it right there then we're all done and it will work but I have to delete this because I already did it <laughs> so now uh, like I said in the beginning I have hid my webcam because now I'm going to be um, connecting it and showing you that it works so I'm going to um, connect it and therefore I will be able to show you okay connecting okay now, now that we also have that all done, um, now, uh, it is going to be recording. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? Okay, just a second, guys. As you can see, it has all the things. Now when I press start, look, it's starting it. When I hit stop, it stops it. When I hit reset, it all goes back to zero. And then, well, that is it. But actually, I need to make the, the, um, the, <coughs> sorry. I need to make the font size for this be a bit smaller then. Make it probably be 26 ish. No, it looks like our lucky number is 25. <laughs> nope. Oh crap. This guy still won't know what. But yeah. Now it is all working and it is taken care of. So that is how you do that. <laughs> and actually I need to make this be a bit smaller as well. 